In this week's episode, we showcase a beautiful working cattle ranch on the front range of Colorado. Then we head north to Cody, Wyoming to visit one of our great sponsors. Plus, tour an incredible Eastern Montana property. Lastly, it's on to New Mexico to see a trio of beautiful properties. Since the founding fathers, the love of the land is something buried deep inside of us. Good morning. It is our heritage, our history, our passion. And we are its greatest stewards. If you ever take time to get away, spend some time in a setting like this, you'll realize what you've been missing. From the smallest blades of grass to the widest of nature's wonders, this is who we are. This is Hayden Outdoor's Life on the Land. This portion of Life on the Land is brought to you by Jetit, private, fast, smart. Gunworks, 1,000 yards out of the box. Revic, revolutionary optics. Maverick Blinds, a lifetime of hunting. Greeley Hatworks, we start with better bodies. Hooray Grills, you dream it, we can cook it. Western Heritage Consulting and Engineering. Envision, design, build. Cryptic, battlefield to backcountry. Polaris, think outside. Ag America, innovators, educators, land lenders. Yukonuba, performance nutrition. Where we sit, we're about 25 minutes from Castle Rock, Colorado East, and you're about 50 minutes into the South Denver metro area and 50 minutes into the Colorado Springs metro area. So this is a really well-located ranch. The access is, is pretty tough to beat for, for this property. The ranch has a comfortable ranch home and then it's got this historic barn behind me. Uh, which has a bunkhouse in it, hay loft, the whole nine yards. Over the hill here, there's an extensive set of working uh, pens and corrals, feed bunks, shelters, loadout chute, a semi-load chute, and it's just really well set up for somebody to come in here and start using right away. The carrying capacity on the ranch is about 150 cows year-round uh, with the hay production. It'll carry about a, a cow-calf unit on every 20 acres. I think I counted 16 stock dams on the property, four wells, one up here at the house, and, and three standalone livestock wells with solar pumps. The creek has a few kind of potholes, spring holes, a lot of good cottonwood tree cover for wildlife and a good place to calve out your cows. A lot of good protection. Down on that creek bottom, there's mule deer and some pretty good ones. I've seen some pretty good trophy bucks down there. A lot of pronghorn antelope. Uh, there's some turkey on the, on the creek, and then there's even elk in this country. There's also 240 acres of dryland hay ground on the ranch, and, and a lot of that is, uh, or some of that is sub-irrigated from the, from the alluvium along Wolf Creek. So it's a, just a real productive ranch close in uh, to the metro areas in Colorado. Honestly, the biggest benefit of this ranch is its location uh, and its size and the combination thereof. It's, you know, it would be a, an attractive property for a developer, whether they wanted to do 35s or, or a higher density development. Uh, but it's also ideally situated and suited to be you know, just a standalone ranch, maybe a gentleman's ranch uh, for somebody who's a professional in the metro area. Uh, there's a lot of different ways this thing could go just because of its size, configuration, and location. For more information about Wolf Creek Ranch, contact Jim Digby directly at HaydenOutdoors.com. The Climber. 
a new ultralight design by Gunworks. The climber is the pinnacle of lightweight, long-range design. Design yours at gunworks.com. Introducing the PMR-428 by Revic. We've integrated a ballistic solver, weather station, and heads-up display for the fastest full ballistic solution available. Just dial the elevation turret to your range, apply wind correction, and score first shot hits beyond a mile. Revic Optics, revolution in sight. For consumer direct pricing, visit revicoptics.com. Born out of necessity, the Hooray Grill was created for the individual who appreciates quality craftsmanship, fellowship, and a true appreciation for the outdoors. Not just another disposable product, the Hooray Grill is reminiscent of a generation when quality stood the test of time and camaraderie was truly valued. Designed to gather, time well spent deserves a Hooray Grill. I'm Brett Favre, host of Hayden Outdoors Real Estate, Life on the Land. For 20 years in the NFL, my life was always on the go and my schedule was controlled by someone else. Now that I own my own time, I fly with Jetit. Jetit allows me to maximize my life's experiences. Thanks to Jetit, I can enjoy my favorite activities of hunting, fishing, and recording my new television show. Jetit, private, fast, smart. This segment of Life on the Land is brought to you by Gunworks, 1,000 yards out of the box. Revic, revolutionary optics. Cryptic, battlefield to backcountry. We're here at Gunworks today. We're really excited about this. Gunworks is a great partner of Life on the Land Television. We're gonna slide over to see Aaron at the manufacturing facility. So it's gonna be a fun day. We can take this model and uh, dive into it, but we can also go through the shop and I'll show you how these 3D images actually translate into real parts, which is pretty cool. So when a customer configures something on the website, that turns into a real engineered bomb that we can use to run through the shop to build. And we carry all the inventory we need to build now. Our build process is only about five days on a rifle. And so we have some major key functions that I want to show you. One of them is when we marry the action to the barrel. I would say that's like the beginning of, of your system is when we designate caliber, barrel contour, and action. And the next one is the rifle stock. So building that rifle stock and then machining it to fit that barreled action. We're using CNC equipment and we can instrument these to do chambering or a uh, muzzle device, you know, usually we thread. Uh, and does the crowns. So he, he'll chalk up a barrel, he'll you know, get all the programs pulled up, load all the tools, push a button and go, and, and then this machine over here can do some front ends as well. So you can run both machines at once. We can generally turn around a barrel to action in about 45 minutes. And then we do all of our engraving on a laser uh, off, off in another cell. But essentially we have two halves, that's like your left and right half, and then, and then we use a prepeg and the weight of your product and the consolidation of your fibers has a lot to do with how much resin you use. So a prepreg allows you to get a very lean, you know, resin-starved compaction out of your uh, composite. Mm. You section one of our stocks and you see really thin, very consistent thicknesses, which means we've made the absolute strongest, lightest shell as possible. And if you look at the surface finish, I'll show you over there, it's like it's nice right out of the mold. Let me show you one of those shells as it comes out. So what we'll do is we'll take that shell and we've just got some tooling in this mill, but that shell will go through and we'll machine you know, all of the inletting and shapes that we need for recoil pads, bedding blocks, etc. 
And so now you've got this machine stock that matches that barreled action on that same build and you've got the parts and pieces are starting to get fit in this and then we'll shift that over into the finishing and assembly department where we'll paint them and then put all the parts together. And then we actually put on the rifle scope, we do feed testing, all, all the basic things we can do before we go shooting. And from there, everything goes in the case, then it goes to the range. That's where we do all the real verification. Uh, we do all the break-in, we do all the load accuracy testing, precision. Everything is good, we do a ballistic profile. So we shoot out to a thousand yards and back, plug that into our software, develop that profile for that gun, and then we create that ballistic turret that everybody's familiar with. So once you've got that turret, we'll program the data in the rangefinder, and now you've got a whole package rangefinder, ballistic turret, you know, scope, gun, ammunition, and then you put all that stuff together, it comes up here for final uh, uh, QC process, uh, packaging for the customer, and then we send that out the door uh, to the customer out of the box. So our, our trademark is a thousand yards out of the box. We shoot a lot farther than that. Uh, the guns are capable of a lot more than that, but that's kind of an old school you know, mantra for us is out of the box performance. That's incredible. Aaron, thank you. Cool. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. This segment of Life on the Land has been brought to you by Maverick Blinds, a lifetime of hunting. Hooray Grills, you dream it, we can cook it. Yukonuba, performance nutrition. The altitude line in the series, the rain gear, the soft shell, the lightweight pants, they all perform extremely well. It's shoulder fabric and you get a really nice blend of durability and also performance. And the colorations are done for mountain hunting, specifically above the tree line. I think that the hardcore mountain hunters are really going to appreciate how well it performs, durability and the function. Maverick Blinds, a lifetime of hunting. This segment of Life on the Land is brought to you by Jetit, private, fast, smart. Western Heritage Consulting and Engineering. Envision, design, build. The primary use of this property is agriculture, but one of the real positive side benefits is its recreational use. It's known as one of the best hunting places in eastern Montana, and there's been over 150 Boone and Crockett or Pope and Young deer that have been harvested on this ranch in the past 30 years. I'm Jeff Garrett. I'm a real estate broker with Hayden Outdoors, and today we are a little south of Sydney, Montana, along the Yellowstone River. Now the, the Cottonwood Canyon Ranch uh, is about 3,600 acres. There's about four miles of the Yellowstone River that borders it on the west side. In addition to that, there's another small creek called Smith Creek that also runs through the middle of the property for about four miles that provides livestock, water, and irrigation. The hunting lodge sits on a bluff above about a thousand acres of bottom ground. There's uh, the bottom ground sits along the Yellowstone River and it is uh, the primary spot where the cattle graze in the late fall and that's where the deer hang out too. So that thousand acres of bottom ground really provides excellent grazing for the livestock and habitat for, for the deer and turkeys. One of the unique aspects of this ranch is the diversity of the of the game that you'll find here. I am originally from South Dakota, which is known as the pheasant capital of the United States, but I've actually seen as many pheasants on this place as you will in any place in South Dakota. Um, in addition to that, you can hunt waterfowl. You'll have whitetail, mule deer, and turkey. The log home that sits on this property is over 3,000 square feet and it has six bedrooms, three and a half baths, and it's on three different levels. The main level has the nice master bedroom and your kitchen and, and living room. Downstairs, you'll find a wall of fame where 
The owner has a picture of every uh, deer that's been harvested on this place. And there's an additional three bedrooms downstairs. Um, upstairs is a couple more bedrooms and a loft and a full bathroom. So it, it really can sleep a lot of people in the fall if you have a lot of guests in for family reunions, hunting, that sort of thing. The water on this place is excellent. Um, in addition to the river and Smith Creek, there are uh, several wells that also produce uh, livestock water. There's two different irrigation rates on the Yellowstone River, and then there's, there's different irrigation and livestock rates off the Smith Creek. So, uh, the, and these rates, some of them are over 100 years old. So there's some very valuable water resources on this ranch in addition to the crop ground and, and grazing rights. So, the present owner has been on this place for over 30 years and he has developed it into one of the premier hunting properties in, in eastern Montana. Uh, he's devoted those 30 years developing the habitat and the water in order to uh, improve this ranch tremendously. Now he's got to the point where he and his wife would like to uh, start taking it a little bit easier and transition the ranch into a, another owner that will love it and care for it like he has. For more information about Bushman's famous Cottonwood Canyon Ranch, contact Jeff Garrett directly at HaydenOutdoors.com. We ask for obedience. They give us pride. We expect performance. They inspire all. We need a partner for the season. They give us a bond for life. Our dogs give everything we ask, and then some. Their nutrition should do the same. Your work is your ethic. Your handshake is your bond. Your word will outlive you. There's only so much you can leave behind in this life. Make your land your legacy. Landowners nationwide trust Western Heritage with their land enhancement and development. No matter what the project is, Western Heritage will make sure your future is in good hands. Your own. This segment of Life on the Land is brought to you by Polaris. Think outside. Ag America, innovators, educators, land lenders. Greeley Hat Works, we start with better bodies. This is Greg Little with Hayden Outdoors. Very proud to share with you today, the Members Valley, Silver City Area Trifecta. Three executive ranches here that I know you'll enjoy seeing. Silver City is a town of about 11,000 down in the southwest corner of New Mexico. Kind of a special place that not too many people find. It's kind of one of those hidden gems. The town is served with a regional airport, hospital, numerous fine dining restaurants, hotels, Super Walmart, and uh, all the services you, that you need. The beauty of uh, the Silver City and Members Valley area is the 3.3 million acres of the Gila National Forest. You have the Gila ruins here, you have Roberts Lake, uh, just some hidden gems. It uh, comprises of three different wilderness areas and uh, well over three million acres, lots of recreation. All three properties are minutes from town, but totally secluded. The first one is the Silver City Lucky V, 64 acres plus or minus, executive estate, totally off-grid, totally self-sufficient, isolated about 12 miles north of Silver City. Wout is our host and owner. We're so glad to have him and Debbie. They are, uh, have owned this property. He was a sea captain for many years and then found uh, this jewel. has turned it into a John Wayne special for you. I think you're gonna like what you see today. My wife, Deborah, and myself, we used to live in Texas. We decided to move and spend more time with our horses. So we looked around in New Mexico and we found this uh, beautiful place here and this is really a place for uh, horseback riders. You can ride out from your land onto uh, thousands of acres of uh, state land, BLM land and forest land. The other attraction is uh, the weather. We have about 355 days of sunshine so you can ride your horses and you can hunt and you can hike basically all year round. 
We have 68 acres on this range, and most of it is flat. Excellent for, uh, for horses. We used to run some cows as well. We have a uh, 2,800 square foot ranch house, and we have two cabins, and then we have a uh, cook house, two three stall horse barns with a uh, pipe corral. We have a fantastic front porch, and we sit there every evening, and the attraction of this pavilion here is not just only sitting there, but it has a fireplace and we love to cook our meat on wood. This property has three fireplaces. We have a main fireplace, a Kiva fireplace in the living room. And then we have a small fireplace in the master bathroom. And it's actually in the shower area. It's pretty cool. And we have what we call a casino, which is a small rustic cabin. And we usually, uh, side our rifles from there. It has a little deck. You can just sit there and enjoy. I have a um, <clears throat> home-based business. I communicate with the whole world. I communicate with ships that are in the, in the middle of the ocean. We have uh, two good internet systems right here from the Lucky Bee. Well, particularly here, life on the land is um, a large amount of freedom, far away from, from the hustle and bustle of uh, cities. I love to be away from town. And that is actually, Greg, what you said when you came here the first time. You stepped in through that gate uh, into the backyard and you said something along the lines of, wow, this is really nice. I didn't expect that. And that is what it is. It's really, really nice. And I wish everybody could see that. The second one will be the uh, Salt Creek Ranch, 30 uh, acres, excellent house, guest home, bordering the Gila National Forest. They have deer, elk, quail, uh, turkeys, javelina, beautiful facilities for horses. On Salt Creek, our hosts and owners today are Tina and Eric Freeman. This has been an incredible uh, life journey for them. They've owned the property many years and look forward to handing it over to the next owner. Back in the day when our boys were younger, we used to come up here and camp and just found this entire valley and region quite enchanting. Being in the Gila National Forest, there's untapped territory in this area. It's rich with tradition and legacy. We have pictographs right here on the property. We found pottery shards right here on the property itself. The historic and prehistoric nature of just so many things that you can find interesting here keep you busy and intrigued and your interest peaked at all times. We first purchased the ranch in January of 2010. So the ranch itself is set up to be a multi-use ranch. You can have a, a group of people up here and entertain them, or you can have an equestrian training center. This would be a dream place for an outfitter. A quite unique uh, type of ranch that we have. I always make fun, we have an eight stall ATV barn, you know, because we, we don't have horses. We live in El Paso full time. We absolutely love the layout. It is a cozy home, what we call the big room, uh, makes for just an amazing place for gathering. The, the, the wood-burning stove to a Christmas tree in another corner to the family all spread around, it's just a great way to spend a holiday up here. Anybody that is looking for a place that has a gentle Four Seasons and wants to be up, kind of have a little bit of solitude, but have a city to be able to go in. The Gila Cliff Dwellings is only about 20 minutes away. You've got hot springs. I mean, you have just about basically anything you need uh, and you're right in the middle of it. So it's, uh, it's a really special area. And the final property we'll be looking at will be the uh, Members Valley Gila Station. It's uh, one of the finest equestrian uh, facilities in our neighborhood. Sue Chilverton is our host and owner today. She's an incredible equestrian uh, talent. You're gonna be impressed today. I've never seen a horse that can play soccer. Hi, I'm Sue. We're here at my place in Mimbris, New Mexico. We have two parcels, 43 acres total, that's bordered by the Gila National Forest. We're at 6,500 feet, and it's perfect horse property with perfect trails out the back fence and four seasons of wonderful riding. I have a Barnmaster four-stall barn that has four interior stalls with paddocks attached, ample hay storage in the barn, covered at one end for equipment storage. I have a covered arena. It's 75 by 150 under the roof. The arena is 75 by 125. 
and the 25 feet at the end is for equipment storage. I have my horse trailer there, we have our tractor there, and it also could be used to set up extra pens for, for more horses if the four stalls wasn't enough. I have a 60 foot round pen. We have a geodesic dome greenhouse called a grow dome from Pagosa Springs for year round growing. We have a two car garage. We have a great house, 2,000 square feet, three bedrooms, two baths, Australian style farmhouse, wraparound porch, all first floor, easy access, easy to take care of, and everything on the property is built fire safe. The whole place is fenced into 10 turnouts and pastures. It's perimeter fenced with horse guard electric fencing that's really safe. The pastures are all been naturally cultivated to native grama grass, great for grazing. We see wildlife that come up to the fence when we're sitting in the hot tub. We have elk going by. I ride out the back gate almost every day on my horses. It's good footing, and the way I ride my horses, I like that. We just really enjoy just being on the property. I said to Greg, if you don't turn the TV on, you don't really know what's going on. It's a completely protected, peaceful environment, and it's just, it's gorgeous. For more information about these beautiful New Mexico properties, contact Greg Little directly at HaydenOutdoors.com.